Did you know that 80 million cars were sold last year? If you want to line these cars from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, you will be able to do this 110 times. That's a lot of cars. And that is why you should learn about engines. But you might say, hey, isn't the future electric? Well, you might be right. But as of 2018, more than 98% of the cars have an internal combustion engine. So for the next 10 to 20 years, they will be super important. So let's start the learning process. An IC engine takes air and fuel as an input and converts the chemical energy of this mixture into mechanical energy. In order to do this, an engine consists of an intake port to bring in the fresh air or in some instance, a mixture of air and fuel, a combustion chamber where the fuel is burnt, an exhaust port to remove the burnt products from the engine, a fuel injector to inject the fuel, a spark plug to ignite the fuel, and a piston that helps with three things. First, it helps in bringing in the air or the air fuel mixture into the combustion chamber by creating a vacuum. Secondly, it compresses this mixture so that it becomes warm and is ready to burn. Finally, it helps pushing the exhaust gases out. These detailed steps takes place at an amazing speed. In just 10 milliseconds, this entire operation is complete. To give you some perspective, it takes us 300 milliseconds to blink once. When something happens this fast, how can you see it? Well, you just bring someone who is much faster. To take a picture, you need a light source and a camera. Since the time scales are really small in this case, you need a powerful light source. And so typically a laser acts as the light source and the camera should be capable of shooting videos at a very high frame rate. Let's do some basic math. If the camera can record a frame every millisecond, then it will give you 10 photos within 10 milliseconds. And hence it's going to give you 1000 photos in one second. This means your camera can capture slow motion footage at 1000 frames per second. For imaging studies on an engine, you will need at least 10,000 frames per second or more. But here is one problem. How would the camera see inside an engine? To see inside an engine, you need what you call as an optical axis, which means your engine should be made up of transparent materials. In this video from Warp Perception, you can see how they use an optically accessible cylinder head to visualize the combustion process. And that looks pretty amazing. However, industries use far more advanced labs and tools to do the same as they are also interested in capturing engineering data. They commonly perform studies like chemiluminescence that can help to visualize the location of major pollutants or radicals when combustion takes place. But one thing that you need to note is that these cameras and setup are super expensive. On top of that, since your engine has an optical axis, the life of the engine is also really short. So what else can you do to see inside an engine? Well, we can simulate the entire process using computer software. By solving critical mathematical equations, you can predict how the combustion takes place and at a much higher frames per second. How high? Well, theoretically, you can go up to 1 billion frames per second, but it does not make sense for engineering applications. On top of that, the 3D data that you get from simulations can be visualized at any point in time, just like a freeze frame effect. So why do you need experiments? Well, Simulations make a lot of assumptions to capture certain concepts. For example, your fuel spray is assumed to be a whole bunch of spears to save computational time. This might sound silly, but there has been a lot of work to make this approach more and more accurate. Now we need to understand that simulations are filled with such models and that definitely introduces some error and uncertainty. Hence, you need experiments to back up your simulation data. But the nice thing is that simulations help in bringing down the number of experiments that you have to run, which helps in saving a lot of money. So now it's time for us to take a look at inside the engine through simulations. So here you are looking at a port fuel injection engine where injection takes place in the intake port. You can see the tiny spears that I was talking about. They represent your liquid fuel. Now these spears are colored. So a spear that's colored red has a higher velocity and one that is colored low has a lower velocity. Now as these spears make their way through the intake port, they hit the back side of the valve and other port surfaces. When this happens, the velocity of the spear is going to come down, right? And that is why you can see that their color is changing from red to blue. 
Then finally, when the valve opens, these spears are automatically sucked into the combustion chamber where they eventually vaporize and burn. Now here you are looking at a combustion simulation. Notice how the temperature increases during the compression process and then once the spark fires, it burns the entire fuel air mixture. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in learning the art of seeing inside an engine, you should definitely check out our latest course on advanced IC engine simulations. Thanks for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed this content. Please like, comment and share this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.